Why is it that even after completing the WooCommerce setup wizard and importing your products into WordPress, your website barely feels like an e-commerce store? This is because you haven't set up your WooCommerce shop page the right way. Yet, if you want your website to go from the skeleton of an online store to a proper one, here's a no-nonsense beginner's guide to setting up your WooCommerce shop page. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. When you install WooCommerce, the plugin automatically creates essential e-commerce pages like Shop, Cart, Checkout, My Account, and Privacy Policy. And when you import products to your website, they get transferred to your shop page by default. While this is convenient, you can define a custom page as your shop page too. Go to WooCommerce settings from your dashboard. Click on the products tab and stay on the general sub tab. This is the option that allows you to define your shop page. Click on the drop down menu and select the one you want to set as your shop page. If you don't already have a custom shop page, you can easily create a new one from the dashboard and then set it as the shop page. While you're here, you can also manage your cart behavior and set a placeholder image for your products. When an interested buyer searches your website's name, they should land on your shop page. You can ensure this by making the shop page as your homepage. Here's how. In your WordPress dashboard, hover over Settings and click on Reading. In the Homepage Display setting, switch to A Static Page instead of Your Latest Posts. Click on the drop-down in front of Homepage and select your shop page that you want to be listed as your homepage. After this step, your shop page's URL slug will disappear automatically and the .com version of your website link will lead straight to the shop page. WordPress Gutenberg Editor is a block builder that lets you customize your pages using many types of blocks. After installing the WooCommerce plugin, you'll get access to 19 additional blocks that are designed to help you build and customize your shop page. Let's use a few of them to build a simple shop page from scratch. Let's add a search bar at the top so visitors can search for the products they want. To add the first block, click on this plus icon and search for product search. When we click on the result, a search bar is added. We'll disable the search field label as it's unnecessary. Below it, a featured product will look great and showcase our best offering. So go ahead and add the featured product block. You'll then have to select the product you want to feature. Either use the search feature or use the list of products. We'll select this one. Feel free to customize this block here. Next, we want a grid of all our products that visitors can browse through. So we'll add an all products block right here. Looks good but it'll look better with three rows of products. Just to show our shoppers more options at once. We're stopping here, but you can play around with many other blocks to build your shop page. And you can use themes like Storefront, Astra, and Generate Press to improve the aesthetics and functionality even more. Apart from these handy blocks, WooCommerce offers an extra layer of customizations too. Follow along. Hover over Appearance in your dashboard and click on Customize. Click on WooCommerce from the list of customizable website elements. Then, choose Product Catalog. Click on the first drop-down and choose if you want your shop page to show products, categories, or both. Click on the third drop-down and select how you want your products on the shop page to be sorted. The last two options on this page will let you control how many products per row and rows per page your shop page should have. These two options work together to let you control the number of products that are shown in your catalog. Now, go back a page and click on Product Images. Here, you can adjust the size and aspect ratio of your product thumbnails. And that's it. If you've kept up until now, your shop page should now be ready to put your store's best foot forward. 
Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic, or if you have any ideas or suggestions.